As Prince William and Kate Middleton await their big wedding day, a look at the symbolism surrounding the event this morning. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips is in London. Hey, Mark, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Well, we now know the basic details uh, of the wedding planning, but what we're trying to determine now is why Kate and William are trying so hard to have it their way. And it seems those, de those answers are in the minor details. We know that unlike Diana's horse-drawn carriage trip to the church and all of its fairy tale imagery, Kate will travel by car, probably either from Buckingham Palace or one of the other royal residences nearby. Royal sources say this is Kate's way of arriving as Miss Middleton, her pre-royal persona. It is also a lot less ostentatious. Kate and William will use a carriage to return as a married couple from Westminster Abbey to Buckingham Palace, just like Diana and Charles did. Kate will then have been transformed into a member of the royal family, and that's how royals travel at great state occasions. And the wedding of a future king and queen certainly qualifies as a great state occasion. Once at the palace, the queen will throw a reception, we're told, for between six and seven hundred people. Oddly, at royal weddings, unlike normal ones, more people actually go to the wedding than to the party afterwards. And a huge crowd will undoubtedly gather for the balcony scene in which a royal kiss is a ritual demand. They will definitely come out on the balcony. And that's when the crowds surge forward and said, give her a kiss. Uh, and both uh, Charles and Diana and Fergie and Andrew. So it, it, it is something that's very nice and I'm sure it will happen. There may also be a Royal Air Force flyover right over here, uh, involving perhaps colleagues of Prince William's. He's, of course, a helicopter pilot. There's a fine line in these things that the royal couple is trying to balance between the fairy trail tale and the real, and William and Kate, it seems, are trying to keep it real. Jeff? Mark Phillips in London this morning. Mark, thank you.